Okay, so I'm like the U.S. mail, nor sleet nor snow, I will find vinyl records. <laughs> yeah, it's dumping here in northern Nevada in the Sierras. But Salvation Army is open today. You know what's going on here and see what's going on. I'm in tennis shoes. I got off work early. So I don't think there's going to be that much here, but we'll try. Where did you get them from? These records are a dollar. I don't see them. Okay, where's the bike? You know, here in Nevada, there's always a lot of country music. And that's fine by me. Country and Western Shindig. Woohoo! appear at the Frontier Hotel in Las Vegas in the 60s and 70s. There's Diodato. That's a good copy. We'll see. Ricky Skaggs. What a great player. Million dollar movie hits. Seven singles. What? I was just reading about Johnny Paycheck in uh, Bob Dylan's new book. On memory lane, I'm getting this, and this is from uh, 77. Yeah. yeah, so it's snowing a lot here, raining today, but that's not going to keep me from thrifting on my days off. And I've done pretty good. You know, it's a little different than Bill's house because those are thrift store records that were all cherry picked. They're all in one spot. But um, I've had a few hauls from thrift stores and I'm going to show you. But just here in a moment, I got Sean to go out with me today. And you'll see here in just a minute. Fun. This is my partner for today. Go on in, check it out. Look for some records. Get a lot of CDs, but I'm here for the vinyl. So I did pretty good in there. I scored a lot of uh, Sinatra. And there's a later uh, Outlaws. That's a soundtrack. And there we go. 89 cents. Not bad. 
Yeah, so it's always fun to go out with my son, that's Sean, and he was a real good sport about it today. But uh, so I got a lot of I got a lot of seven inch here today, and uh, actually in the past few days, uh, between uh, the last haul I had from Bill's house in Bill's garage, I'm gonna get right into this and show you. Now this is um, this is written by Neil Young, and this is from 1967 on a seven inch. This is flying on the ground, the Cascades from 1967 and on the B side it is uh, Main Street so that was really really nice to find and on Star Day you know the George Jones uh, label this is Phil Sullivan Hearts Are Lonely on Star Day Records and on the B side it is Rich Man Poe Boy and I'm liking that. And then on the Swan label, I have Bells, Bells, Bells. This is uh, this is rock and roll, late 50s rock and roll by Billy and Lily. Bells, Bells, Bells on Swan. And from Detroit, Michigan, this is Dave Baby Cortez. And this is uh, on Julia, on, uh, distributed by Chess Records. This is uh, Getting Right by Baby Cortez. Again, from uh, Detroit, Michigan. It's R&B pop, it's from 1962. And I couldn't pass this up. This is written by David Allen Coe, right? The most outlaw of all the outlaw country guys. And he wrote, take this job and shove it. And Johnny Paycheck, you know, my favorite stuff by uh, Johnny Paycheck is on Little Darlin', the early gospel stuff. And he played bass in George Jones's band. And George Jones, man, took a lot from Johnny Paycheck. Just ask Bob Dylan in his new book. He goes on and on about Johnny Paycheck. But this one is from 1977, and this is a, um, well, it's on Memory Lane. And next, this was cool to find. This is, uh, guys, this is from Down Under. This is Midnight Oil. Beds are burning. Cool. And then I couldn't pass this up. This is sealed. Look, this is sealed. This is Never Stop Doing What You Love. Paul McCartney. This is that corporate sellout, they say, from Fidelity whatever. Uh, Fidelity Investments, where they really uh, criticized Sir Paul for selling out to double and triple and quadruple his wealth. And I'm sure he did. You know, that's his business as far as I'm concerned. Look at this. Look at the tracks on here. Very, very happy to have this. And then right into the vinyl. This is a, a combination of two or three hauls. I have Mamas and the Papas. And all these records, guys, are 89 cents. There's one for 25 cents. These are all, there's no ring wear at all on these. Now, you know, are they the, are they the best, most primo records? No. Do I like these records? Yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. Love the Mamas and the Papas. Uh, this is a nice one to have. Uh, I have I have one of these, but not this clean. And this just has everything on it. And I put it in a nice new sleeve. It's on uh, MCA. And next, uh, from Willie Nelson, uh, his tribute to Lefty Frizzell, to Lefty from Willie. And I'm really pleased to have this one. I'm a big Lefty Frizzell fan, and I love country music. I like the classic country and outlaw country, and of course country rock. But this is a good one to have from Willie. And then this is very nostalgic for me. This is uh, both sides of the Herman's Hermits, and I you just don't see these records that clean. Um, this is cool. I had a paper route as a kid when I was 12 years old in 1969 at South Lake Tahoe. And you know, I have 50 papers on my Stingray and I'm flinging them in the doorways and you gotta make it because up there there's three, four foot of snow on the ground. So you gotta make it where all the, the stacked wood is in between the wood and the entryway. But I used to sing, this door swings both ways, you know, to myself. And uh, this just is very, very nostalgic for me. This Herman's and the Hermits. Uh, guys, it would be, uh, for you 50-year-olds, it would be like you and Kiss, because you're a 10 or 11-year-old kid seeing these cartoony kind of guys. 
But, you know, our music uh, for me was uh, mid-late 60s as, uh, as a kid. That wealth of great AM uh, pop hits. And then, not long ago, I got a In the Shrink, Footloose and Fancy Free, Rock and Rod, and I'd never had this one. And I just, there, I only have a couple more early Rod albums to get uh, for me to, to have all of them, really. So this, this is nice. And this has the original uh, inner sleeve. It's just in great shape. Really, really nice shape. I paid a dollar for that one. And then I found a Stray Cats, 89 cents. Rock This Town, Built for Speed, Rev It Up and Go, Stray Cats Strut, Little Miss Prissy, Rumble and Brighton, Runaway Boys, Genie, 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 Double Talking Baby. Nice. And Stray Cats, Built for Speed, Excellent. And then I'm going to show you a lot of country. This is about the best Randy Travis album in existence. This is a good one. Love Randy Travis. And then I found, this is only my second, The Judds. Uh, just minty condition. It's good to have these. Absolutely. I like my country records. And this is cool. You can tell that Waylon really loves his wife, and that would be Jesse Coulter. And I never ever, I, you know, I've seen this, but not this clean. Like having this one. And here's the songs on the back. And this was pretty cool to get. I've never had this Glenn Campbell, Glenn Travis Campbell. He covers a Tom Paxton song on here. The last thing on my mind. And um, just a nice album. She thinks I still care. You know, just Running Scared, Roy Orbison, you know, Glenn doing that. Fantastic. Now, this is a cool comp, Kickin' Country. Yeehaw! But what's nice about it, you got Jerry Jeff, Merle Haggard, Johnny Russell, David Allen Co., new writers of the Purple Sage doing Panama Red. I said Jerry Jeff. You got Mo Bandy, Joe Stampley, Johnny Paycheck, and Willie the Man Nelson doing Whiskey River. So this is a nice comp. And then to find another, another clean copy of Willie and Family Live. Nice. I have uh, two more of these. Yes, I do. I have a lot of Willie Nelson records and I love them. And I saw them live back in, uh, during this time. Uh, in around 1979, 78, 79, yeah, saw him about three times. He passed the bottle of Jack down to me. I took a big hit off of it, and I passed it to the left, and that guy, that man passed it back to Willie, and Willie grabbed the Jack Daniels, that is. Yeah, that was a fun show. And this is I've Always Been Crazy. That is Waylon. And what I love here is the Buddy Holly melody. Medley, actually. Waylon Jennings, and then Bluegrass, Osborne Brothers. This is the real deal. These guys are awesome. Osborne Brothers, and here they are. There's the brothers. This is simply on CMH for the Osborne Brothers. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to show you some Don Williams, and the reason why is the next record I'm gonna show. Don is just a, I love the, you know, Charlie Rich, Don Williams music from the 70s. Great, great country, smooth country music, great singing, and this man right here, EC, the very first track is Tulsa Time, written by Don Williams. So I have this very nice clean copy of, uh, what is this, uh, Just One Night, and I have another one of these, so this is uh, my number two. Nice and clean. All of these records, no ring wear. Now this, this is a fine, you know, Headley in the UK. Man, he has cold blue steel. These guys are from Salt Lake City. This is country rock. And this is obscure country rock, so this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Real nice. And... Um, they, did, they cover Truck Driving Man on this, Get Rhythm, you know, that Johnny Cash covered. Now, look at this. This was 25 cents. This is from 1976, 
Poco Live. You know, Deliverin' is the earlier uh, Poco Live album, but this actually was in the shrink, and I just, you know, it, it was uh, split right down the middle, so I just went ahead, took the shrink off, and put a nice, nice jacket around it. And then you can't beat it when you find MJ Thriller in this kind of shape, near mint, 89 cents. Again, all of these. There's only a couple rec records that I paid a dollar for. Now, you know, I already had the Spangles album, but this is my going to be my number one. It is just squeaky clean. This is a good one. Love the Bangles, and you know, you got Manic Monday in a different light, walking down your street, walk like an Egyptian, standing in the hallway. Great album, good, good, good album. And there's the girls in the Bangles, different light. And then for 89 cents, I found Mirage. Yeah, and there's Christine. Man, I didn't even know she was ill. Uh, sorely missed. Christy McVie loved her so much and then I've never found a monkey's headquarters this clean in the shrink they're always beat up uh, this was 89 cents and uh, this plays really good guys I know I want the repress I want it I want it but this for the OG this sounds really really good and actually that's the second press but this record sounds good. It sounds better than my other early Monkees pressings. And lastly, this is the only record I paid $4 from this. This is on Charisma. This was at a secondhand store. The, those were all thrift. This is Nursery Prime Genesis. UK Press. This is not the gatefold on that great Charisma label. Nursery Crime by Genesis, and this sounds fantastic. Well, that's all I have, and uh, I'll be going to Bill's this Sunday for another dig. I think that's uh, my sixth or seventh. Thanks for watching.